Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again with another wonderful text effect. Okay, a lot of people don't know how to create silver gradient. So we are going to be learning how to create that here in this tutorial and how to create realistic ones, not just a cake ones. Okay, the ones that look realistic and a lot of tricks was put in here to get this text effect. So we are going to be learning a lot on this particular text effect. Okay. It's a four layer test effect as usual and nothing is definitely not hard, trust me, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start by um, getting a blank background so I head over to the background interface and then the white and it's telling me everything is going to be lost. I'm okay with that and everything is lost now. So I head over to the background interface here, head over to resize. Then I'm going to change the size to the YouTube normal dimension. So this is 16 ratio 9 now. So I will head over to close button from gallery. I'm going to my gallery to get the background I used. So guys, this is the background I used for the design. So I'm just tapping on it right away now. And it's bringing it up here on Pezzo Lab. So I'm going to use the 16 ratio 9 dimension as usual. So I'm going to bring this up now. I'm going to bring it up so it crops a little the place that is not really uh, the place that doesn't have that much aesthetic like the beneath here. So I'll click the good button and then I'm going to drag this and then use the resize to in the shape interface and make sure it's 100 100. Okay, so this is 100 now I use the relative position it's okay and then i'm gonna go to the layer and lock it now so what i, I will do next now it's go to color filters now and change reduce the saturation of this color or this shape to zero so it turns to black and white so the saturation is zero now so if you feel like adding other effects you can do so but for the sake of this tutorial we are good with this now so what next is getting my uh text so i'll use the plus button up now and then click test and then draw this now and then draw the slider beneath now and then double tap on this and type in our text which is bold so I'm just gonna type in the bold text so I have bold now I'm gonna click done okay okay and then I'm gonna draw the size of this text now so the text I use for this is only via sans okay um it's on the description link there and the the dots there and the background all are on the description link so the whole files used for the tutorial are on the description link so i'll head over to the font now interface and then to my font and probably to recent because i've used the font before i just mentioned the name of the font now so this is olivia sans black i used for it now i'm gonna resize this a little bit resize somewhere here okay so i'm i'm gonna go to the curve 2 and curve to 10 just then and I'm good now so we are not going to reduce the spacing of anything on this one now so what we are going to do next now is head over to the color tool now and then to gradient now here is where we are going to learn how to create the um, silver gradient I was talking about okay so this is the silver gradient I've created and this is another one and for the sake of this tutorial we are gonna pick a Delphort gray um, black color gradient here and then use it for the gradient so this is Delphort now on Pizzle Lab you're gonna see it on your own Pizzle Lab so what you want to do is use the plus button by the left now by the right and then reduce this uh, black here this black color plate by the left now reduce it to somewhere here this this second slider reduce it to make it a little bit grayish so it's not that pure black and then you click OK now, and then this is what you have now. Then bring this to the center, the this gray one, and then this white one now. Bring it here, and then you duplicate this white one now by keep clicking this plus button now, and it duplicates the color. This plus button up here now, and just duplicate it again, and it duplicates the color now. So what you want to do now is then bring this one here and leave this black one here. You can bring the black one beneath here. We are trying to create gray now and then you you increase the color of this one now to somewhere here it's not going to be pure white a little bit 
white is so somewhere here now is okay then you click on this one now this black one and duplicate now and then bring it somewhere here now so the trick is to get more like an a faded middle and then a dark color a dark color beside and here, here you have a dark middle and then a fair color and a fair color beside so that is the trick of creating gradient it's just simple um simple design and aesthetics okay so that's just it see with this now if i click okay now this is gonna form a gradient so just play around with it create as many gradients you can create you can keep a lot of white at the middle and the black so this is just the trick now there's nothing more to it okay so so i'm going to reduce the this a little okay um i'm going to be using this now so what i, I want to do next is click the okay button minute now and then i have my shadow now but then i want this place to be dark i want this place to be dark i don't want a dark a a white a white color here okay since it's a gradient you can change to as many um arrangements you want now so with this now bring this black here and this is here and this is another gradient okay i've actually created another gradient so this there are so many ways you can create gradient just play around with this now okay so i'll click okay now and this is what i wanted now so i'm just gonna click good now and then i'm gonna go over to the shadow tool this is the shadow tool now i'm gonna on the shadow now so we'll make sure the shadow, the color of the shadow is black I'll click ok and we'll reduce the opacity to somewhere around 81 and we we'll increase, increase the blur radius we we'll increase the blur radius to somewhere around 14 ok we'll have 14 and then we'll offset by x to minus 6 and then we'll offset y to just 10 so we increase and increase and increase and we'll click OK. So this is good now. What we want to do next is head over to the 3D tool now. And then on, you know what to do whenever you're on the 3D tool. Head over to the to the simulate lightning and just off it so it doesn't crack. And then we'll head over to the uh, darken in this 3D tool now. And then reduce the darken to 0% now. So when, once you reduce it, what you... What you see now that is is no longer looking like 3D because something has changed now. But watch what you are gonna do next. Head over to gradient now, and this is the gradient we created. You see, once you tap on this same gradient arrangement, it's still gonna look the same now. But what if you use the plus button by your right now? And this is the gradient we created for the main color now, for the main text, and you can change the arrangement of this um, gradient now by switching over to this color. This one now is the gradient arrangement facing left and right so if you use this second one now pop this first one not this first one this second one now it's gonna turn the arrangement of this gradient now to up and down instead of left and right sort of this is up and down now instead of left and right so having it like this now is going to add you see some kind of creative depth to this 3d now and it's now looking nice now so this is what we needed now this is very awesome so then we'll start reducing the depth reduce the depth to around five and then we we'll head over to oblique i thought you guys once you create 3d change to oblique so that you can change the angle of the 3d once you leave it at perspective you're not going to see any angle to change so it's at 3d now so we'll change the angle to around two to something we'll just keep at 257 or 258 okay so this angle is perfect now what i'm gonna do now is click ok now and then i'm going to copy this 3d this uh, uh, one now this 3d now and then remove every effect that it's on the text so we'll remove the 3d and then we'll, we'll off the shadow we'll off the shadow now and so we'll just have a text with a color now so you click OK and then head over to the color tool and then the main color this time around, not gradient now. So we'll choose a red color. Let me just use this dark red or we'll use the plus button and then type in the red color, the red color code. So I'm just typing on this color code here now. I'm going to type in F, capital letter for color code F. You have 00, zero and you have 00. zero. And I'm gonna click good button okay now. And this is red now. 
and what you want to do is reduce the um darkening of this red now you darken it a little bit i've taught you guys this now so you darken it a little bit you can get leave it at db000 or you can darken the more as it suits you so just leave at db00 or db800 okay so here is good now we we'll just click ok and we can still darken this a little somewhere here okay so i think this is perfect now so what i'm gonna do next now is creating stroke without having to on the stroke too it's kind of crazy is it next is a trick i just discovered recently now so watch what i'm gonna do i'm gonna on the first on the shadow tool now and then reduce the blur reduce to zero i've taught you guys this it's a is a usual trick i do mostly on my tutorials and then i'm increasing this 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 black was here this is the opacity slider so i'm increasing it now to pure black now okay so then i'm gonna increase instead of leaving uh x as minus six probably x i'm gonna keep it at minus five and then i'm gonna bring y up let's just leave y at let's just leave y at two at minus two so we have y at minus two minus two and then x as minus eight so this is cool for this now what next i'm gonna do is gonna blow your mind so this is inner shadow this is main shadow and this is inner shadow now so i'm gonna on the inner shadow now reduce the blur reduce again to zero and then offset this one to left and you see what i just did now i just created a stroke without having to add a stroke this is crazy and it's nice it's gonna help us on a lot of stuff we are gonna be doing henceforth okay so then this we are gonna add minus seven on this now and then we are gonna increase that of y to just two now so this is perfect you know what to do place it well so it laps really well and you don't have to get something that is obstructing okay so this is good now what next is copy this other text now and this time around we'll off the stroke because we don't need it we'll off, okay we'll off the shadow because we don't need it and then we'll off the inner shadow again and then we'll head over we'll click ok and then to gallery to texture and then gallery to bring in the texture I used for the text effect now. So this is the texture here now. So uh, I just tapped on it. It's going to bring it up on Pixel Lab. It's a black texture. So we are not going to be seeing it. X is on a transparent background like this now. So you are seeing it. We'll click the good button as usual. And then I think I didn't place this guy well before clicking this. Make sure you place it well before you click so it laps very well so we we'll reduce this now to scale this scale now in this texture to just 50 okay we we'll use a scale of just 50 and then we we'll use the position tool to make sure it's lapping well make sure it laps well before you add the texture so you see the edges like now i cannot see the edges now that is why it might be hard for me to place it well okay so this is good now what next is copy this text again is the four layer text effect so we're almost through it's just the remaining one now so we'll lock this one so we don't move by mistake okay so keep this here now and then remove the texture remove the texture and then we'll head over to color now and then gradient and then we'll use any of these gradient to have here now just use any of this gradient now i'm going to use the plus button now okay so watch closely what i'm going to be doing this is the gradient color this is black and this is white now i'm going to reduce the color of the black the transparency of the black to zero and then i have a zero transparency here now i'm going to duplicate this transparency of zero you know once you duplicate a color it's going to either add a color or it's it's going to add a color to it so i just reduce the uh, removed the transparency of this one also so i'm gonna bring this one here now and then duplicate this one again with plus and then place it somewhere here remove to zero again the transparency to zero now so the trick is bringing colors now for you to get sharp edges when editing with this gradient i've taught this on the the tutorial i thought about using the gradient to create curve and shapes if you watch that tutorial you will learn more of this okay you can use shapes transparent shapes to get sharp edge cuts 
with um, gradient now so if I click OK if this was a text I use this gradient color on now it's gonna have like marks on it okay so let's just let me click this now and click OK and you see what is doing to this now so any text I add this to now is gonna look like this because that is what the gradient is looking like so you can make gradient like this if you still need more insight on how to use or create them i have a tutorial there how to use gradient to create shapes okay or shape divider so this is what i created now and then this one now is gonna be somewhere here to make sure this place is feathered also okay you can still bother to leave just one instead of keeping two we can keep two and then this we are going to reduce the opacity of this now it needed to bring this now for you to understand what i meant by bringing this here now so we we'll reduce the opacity of this now as we've gotten what we need now we we'll reduce the opacity somewhere here and then we'll click ok and then we'll bring it back make sure it's getting a sharp edge and then we'll click ok so guys this is it now we are going to slant it a little bit so it looks slanted like we did on the other one okay so something like this okay we'll slant it too much okay somewhere here okay so this is good now we'll click ok now and what what are we gonna do next is head over to the stroke tool and then on and change the stroke color to white that just color not gradient and then reduce the stroke width to just one okay you do stuff like this with a stroke width of one and you click ok and then you can use the position tool now and then position to whatever arrangement you want your stroke to look like if you want to put it up so it looks like this you can put it up or you want to put it left so it look like this you can put it up okay guys so i'm gonna click ok and this is just it from the look of this now you can see that beneath of the text effect is kind of looking white really white so we'll head over to the depth of the 3d2 i think i'm not touching the right text so this is the lax test now we are touching and then the 3d and then we we'll head over to this depth now and then the gradient color we are using for the depth we we'll head over to the plus now and this this white that was at beneath it now we'll reduce it we'll darken it the more somewhere here we'll see what we got now okay 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 it's looking more better now so we'll darken a little bit somewhere here we'll place it somewhere here see what we we'll still have now okay so this is looking perfect okay so guys this is just it give yourself a thumbs up you did it okay if you did enjoy this tutorial you know what to do Hit the like button drop your comment and share with your friends okay if you're yet to subscribe don't forget to hit those bells smash them okay guys it's next wednesday again don't forget keep creating